Randy Cash, a more than three-decade operational and business development leader in the GovCon industry, has been named president and CEO of Axiant. John Wasson, a retired Army lieutenant colonel who most recently served as staff director of the U.S. Senate Armed Services Committee, has been appointed president and chief operating officer of Cyprus International, effective January 30th. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency has awarded $183 million in modifications to its technical and analytical support services procurement vehicle, raising the contract's maximum value to more than $1 billion. Leanne Carrot, former CEO of Boeing's defense segment and a five-time WASH 100 winner, has been elected to the board of directors at Raytheon Technologies. One of the last legislative actions taken at the close of the 117th Congress was passage by the House of Representatives of the Preventing Organizational Conflicts of Interest in Federal Acquisition Act. Under this new law, the Federal Acquisition Regulatory Council is directed to amend the Federal Acquisition Regulation to require Federal Acquisition Transaction participants to provide information about potential conflicts of interest. Science Applications International Corporation has received a pair of bridge contracts worth $189 million combined, to help the Defense Logistics Agency deliver supplies needed for the maintenance, repair and operations of U.S. military facilities. The Department of Veterans Affairs has issued a draft request for proposals for a potential $61 billion contract vehicle for IT products and services. The U.S. Army awarded the defense arm of Oshkosh a $141 million firm fixed-price contract to build a two medium tactical trucks and trailers. Join Potomac Officers Club's 2023 fourth annual Artificial Intelligence Summit on February 16, 2023. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. Thomas Lennon, formerly a group vice president at KBR, has been elevated to senior VP of the company's national security solutions business. The General Services Administration has included a self-scoring requirement for sustainability-related disclosures as an amendment to a draft request for proposals for the third iteration of the Alliant Government-Wide Acquisition Contract for IT Platforms and Services.